so hello everyone welcome back uh, to the second chapter of our sdrs and the wireless hacking so well in this particular chapter we'll be starting off with the practical and how to set up your things in the right manner and how we can start up with the sdr and how we can sniff the air for multiple radio frequencies so in, well, in this particular demo, we'll be using a cheap SDR that is an RTL SDR. So first of all, let's come to the agenda like what we'll be dealing up in this video. So we'll be dealing up what is RTL SDR, the device particularly which we'll be using, how we can set it up and how we can capture the air traffic. So the first thing like what is RTL SDR from where you can get it and how it, the stuff used to work. So basically it is very compact and a very cheap computing power source which we can use in our day-to-day -day life. Uh, it's basically built up with the semiconductors and it's a very small device just like your USB drive or a thumb drive. It can be directly plugged into your USB drive, uh, USB port and you can start using it by customizing the driver by just uh, custom means putting up the customized driver and you can start sniff up the air for the multiple radio frequency so that we'll be seeing up in the practical like how we can set it up and uh, how we can sniff up the air now if we talk about the dongle which we'll be using that is your rtl sdr so basically it comes up with a label as you can see up here that is dvb t and dab fm okay it's uh, generally uh, these particular broadcasting technology were initially used in europe and uh, these are basically your uh, digital audio broadcasting and digital video broadcasting and plus it can tune up to fm also if we did, didn't customize the driver and if we didn't if we use it in a layman stuff so basically it was designed to uh, tune up with the tv signals and to capture the tv and uh, to I mean, it's uh, watched out the TV in your system. And with the help of some modulations, we can uh, sniff up the entire range. So basically, there are two parts in this. That is, one is your uh, USB interface, uh, which is this one, and uh, the tuner chip, uh, which is this one. So <clears throat> if we talk about the chipset which is used inside it, that is your RA20 and that is Type 2. The tuner chip uh, which is there inside this is uh, RA20 and which is type 2 and if we replace it by E4000 tuner which come up in new leg uh, the new leg uh, cards and if we the major difference between the other chipsets and this is like uh, some of the chipset if we talk about especially like E4000 which can be tuned up to 65 to 2300 megahertz frequency but uh, whereas uh, this one we can tune up with 24 to 1700 uh, megahertz of frequency so and if we talk about the fc0012 so this one uh, is basically it is less compatible so it can be tuned up i guess uh, around 22 to 1000 megahertz frequency or i guess 950 megahertz somewhere so <clears throat> so basically it's better to use and go up with then RA20 type 2 chipset and uh, it has basically improved with the CXO which is uh, your uh, which is basically deal with the microwaves and uh, the thermal waves which comes around so it's basically used uh, to track up the GPS signals and other signals so it's a temperature compensated crystal uh, oscillators which uh, majorly nowadays is used and uh, if we talk about uh, means other uh, oscillators uh, which we use for thermal technologies like ocxos and all beats it won't be compatible for that and uh, again the if you talk about the cost benefits you can get it for seven dollars and uh, if you are going up with the local vendors you might be getting it uh, somewhere to fifteen dollars and depends upon the region to region so if we talk about the architecture of this, it is basically, it works on USB 2.0 interface and uh, it supports 
the intermediate frequency from 36.1 uh, to 5 megahertz and the low intermediate frequency from 4.57 megahertz and if we talk about it also supports cofdm which is your coded orthogonal frequency division multiplexing which is earlier used as i told you in europe for uh, broadcasting the signals so it is basically the frequency which is uh, uh, the signals which are orthogonally bisected by each other and without any interference and if we talk about it has an 8-bit analog to digital converter for rf signal and eight general purpose IO pins plus IR supports in that. So this is basically the general overview of the device. Now let's come up with the setting of the device. So I have already connected the device. So I have already connected up uh, the device as you can see that RTL2832 VDH idea. Basically it will come up with this one and now uh, it basically installed with the stock drivers which come up with this device so initially we need to set up the drivers so as to go up with a different range of spectrum so for this we will be using a tool that is your zdic and uh, if we go here and if we click on list all devices uh, don't worry i'll be sharing up the link in the video to download if we now if you talk about this uh, so this is the basically the tool which we'll be using to install the driver so that is your zdic and uh, in this if you run it you won't be finding out any of the devices if you go here and if you click on list all devices so you can go up within bulk in interface 0 and bulk in interface 1 these are the basically the usb hubs which are there and in your system also generally it will be coming it as an interface with bulk in. So bulk in interface I have uh, connected my RTL. Now I just need to click on replace the drivers and I'll be clicking on replace drivers. So it will take some time to install the drivers and uh, after this, uh, what we can do is we can use any of the tool to intercept uh, that will be coming up in this video. We'll be talking about how we can set up the other tools and we can sniff up the airs and different frequencies. So let me first just install the driver. It may take some time to install. Okay, so the drivers has been installed successfully. Let me just close it. Let me just go install drivers. Let me just check on Balkan interface one. Just leave that. As it is now, what we are going to do is uh, we'll be setting up uh, our HDSDR, which is basically the tool which we'll be using to sniff up the air. Otherwise, we can use the SDR sharp also, but initially we'll be going up with the fundamental and the basic tools. Then we'll be covering up uh, for the to the extreme that is IMSA cacher and other things we'll be doing with the GSM sniffing and all. So let me just install it. I accept next. And let me just change installation directory hdsdr hdsdr and click on quick launch button and okay so before launching we need to put up a customized dll for this and let me go up to the program files and let me just put this up here and this is my SGR. Okay. So as you can see, like I'm able to hear upon different different frequencies. So before starting up, let me just uh, without calibrating this uh, in the upcoming videos, we'll be learning how to calibrate this. 
Uh, so without any of the calibration with the default settings, I'll be just uh, going up and try to sniff out some interesting stuff out of this. So as you can see that uh, if I move the antenna, uh, I may get something and I'm moving the antenna. Okay, so uh, as you can see, like uh, means you can see some of the distortions because me uh, uh, means we have not uh, calibrated this. So once we calibrate this, uh, this distortion will go. So that will be learning in the coming of videos, like how to calibrate this device. But initially, you can hear something on a very haphazard manner so this is how basically we tune and sniff up the air so this one generally i have tuned this to uh 92.7 i'm trying to tune it uh, with the default settings uh in the upcoming videos we'll be calibrating it and then we'll be setting it up okay so uh, let me just try to stop it okay so now well this was all about this uh, so how we tune and how we uh, mean sniff up the air so well in the upcoming videos we'll be calibrating it and uh, trying to use some other frequencies and trying to sniff up the ham radios and all so that's all for the video so hope you have liked it so thank you thanks a lot for watching and uh, do support by clicking on the like and the share button Thank you. Thanks a lot.